Hello and uh, welcome to another video. In this video I want to show you how you can get started with Docker Swarm. Docker Swarm is a cluster management and orchestration tool that is built into the Docker engine and it will allow you to run Docker containers across multiple servers. If you want to see how you can get started, stay tuned. For this demonstration, I'm using the following setup. I do have three Ubuntu 20.104 instances running in VirtualBox or on VirtualBox. The first one is my Machine 1, which I will be using as the Manager node. My second one is the Machine 2, which I will be using as the Worker node. My third one is Machine 3, and I will use that also as a Worker node. In VirtualBox, if you want to set it up similarly, um, you would need to use the bridged adapter in the network settings in order for these instances or these VirtualBox instances to talk to each other. But I just wanted to let you know this is how I will be, um, or this is the setup that I will be using for this demonstration. Before we can get started setting up our Swarm Manager, which I will be setting up on my first virtual machine here, we need to get the IP address of these, uh, this virtual machine, or your server in this case. So uh, to get the IP address in Ubuntu, you can simply run a hostname dash capital I, and then here this is the IP address that I will need, 192.168.0.191 which may be different in your case. Now that we have the IP address, we can create our uh, Swarm Manager and initialize our Swarm. And I will do this on this virtual machine. And the command for that is docker swarm init. And then it's a dash dash advertise dash address and this is where we now will need the IP address uh, again in my case it's 192.168.0.191 I will just simply copy it and paste it over here and now I hit enter and this may take a second um, and now I have initialized my docker swarm the server you're running your docker swarm init command on will be your manager server and as a return of this command that we ran you also get the command that you will need to run on the other machines that you want to use as workers for your swarm so you see here you actually get the full command that we will need in order to uh, join our other servers to the swarm so let's go ahead and do that. I will go ahead and take this and copy it already. And then I will move over to my second virtual machine. Here I have switched over to my second virtual machine. Um, if you have a server, you want to move over to the server that you want to use as your first worker. And here we want to just go ahead and paste in the command that we've copied in order for this machine to join our swarm. So I've pasted it in here and I just hit enter. And now it says here that this node has joined a swarm as a worker. Being back on my manager node now, so on my first virtual machine, if I'm running a docker node ls, this will list all the nodes that are currently in my swarm. And I do see here two listed which is the VirtualBox host here. This is my manager. You can also see it by the manager status being leader. And then this is the other machine that we've just joined into our swarm. Um, this little asterisk here indicates that this is the machine that you're currently connected to where you're running the command. Now that we've joined one worker into our swarm, let's go ahead and join another worker. Again, in my case, I'm using another virtual box instance of Ubuntu. If you have servers set up, you can use them as well. And here too, we want to go ahead and paste in the command that we've copied before. Now that I have pasted my command in here, I will just hit enter. 
and you will see it says that the node has also joined the swarm as a worker. Let's move back to our master node. Back on the master node, let's run another docker node ls. And now you will see we have our swarm cluster set up. We have our leader. We are currently connected to it. And we have two worker nodes um, that are in our swarm. This is how you set up your docker swarm. And let's go ahead and actually deploy something into our cluster. Before we move over, another way that you can check on your cluster status is by running a docker info. And if you run this command and scroll up a little bit, you will see here that currently I have zero containers um, and there is my swarm information. So my swarm is active. Currently on this server here, I am on the manager. There's my cluster ID and I have three nodes uh, overall, including the manager node. So you get some information here as well. Now let's move over and deploy something. Deploying containers in a swarm is done with a service. So in order for us to deploy a service, we need to run the following command. Let me clear my screen. And the command that we want to run is docker service create. Now we need to tell it how many replicas. So how many containers of this image do we want to run? So we do that with a dash dash replicas. And in this case, I will just say one to start with. Then we'll enter a dash dash name to give our service a name. I will call it ping service. And then we want to give it the image. I'm using an Alpine image. I'm using an Alpine image and I cannot type today. <laughs> Alpine image. And then um, we just simply will run a ping command to keep the container alive and continuously run it. And we'll just ping docker.com. So to um, reiterate this, we need to run the command docker service create. We tell it how many replicas, so how many containers of this do we want to run? <coughs> In this case, I say one. We give our service a name. I call it ping service. We give it the image that we want to run. And then here we pass in the command what to execute. I will hit enter. And you will see it will start the process of deploying and setting up our containers. If we want to list our services or check on our service, we can run a docker service ls. And you will see here, I have currently one service running. The name of the service is ping service. It is replicated. I have one replica running of one. And the image being used is the alpine latest. We can also inspect our service, similarly as, in, as you can inspect a Docker image. So we can run a Docker service inspect ping service. So I've got to give it the service name. And if I hit enter, you will see all the detailed information about our service that is currently running. We see container specs, we see resources, and so forth. So you will see all the details. If you want to have it displayed a little bit nicer, you can also run a command and add the dash dash pretty here at the end. And it will display it a little bit nicer and more uh, cohesive and easier to read. Now this gave us details about our service, but what if we wanted to see on our manager node, where does this image actually run? So uh, let me clear my screen. And what you can run is a docker service ps. And then we got to give it the service name. 
and if I hit enter, you'll see here I get my ID, the name, the image name, the node it's running on. I didn't name my nodes, so this is where it's running. It's running actually on the manager node. The desired state it is running and has been running for the last three minutes. For right now, we only have uh, one container running in our service. Um, so there is a way that we can go ahead and actually increase that and that is called scaling and what we want to do is, is we want to scale our service. So let's uh, take a look at how we can do that. The command that we need to run to scale our service is docker service scale and then we want to give it the service name that we want to scale. So in my case ping service and now I will tell it how many replicas do I want to run so let's say I want to run five and I hit enter and you will see how it is spinning them up when they're all running it's verifying and we're all set and if we now run a docker service ps ping service and I hit enter you will see that we currently have five replicas of our Alpine image running. And we'll see here they're running on the host and on the workers. So how can you now see what's actually running on each worker? Well, I should have named my nodes, which I didn't. Um, but we can also move over into one of the worker nodes and see what's running there. Here, for example, I went to my second worker node, or my VD, my third VDI, and if I'm in here in the command line and I run a docker ps, you will see that there is currently two Alpine images running on this node, and they're executing the ping docker command. And here I'm on my first worker node, or my second um, VirtualBox instance, and if I'm running a, a docker ps here, you see this one currently is running one of my Alpine images. And this is how you can deploy a service to Docker Swarm and how you can scale that service and you can scale it up and down. Just need to, to know that you need to run these scale commands on the manager node. And if we're done and we want to remove our service, there is no need to stop every single container on the worker nodes. We can simply, on the manager node, run a docker service rm and then give it the service name. In my case, ping service and I hit enter. And if I'm now running again a docker service ps ping service and I hit enter you will see that my service has been removed now let's move over to the worker nodes and check that our container is truly stopped this can sometimes take a little bit depending on how many replicas we have running in my case it should be fairly quick but let's double check back on my second Ubuntu uh, instance in VirtualBox or my first worker node for that matter if I'm running another docker ps you will see nothing is currently running and the same is also for my third node and this is how you can simply get started with docker swarm how you can easily set up a swarm and start learning about it and playing with it I do hope that you did find this video helpful and um, if you did I would appreciate a subscribe or a thumbs up and um, I'm always open for feedback so if you have any feedback any questions any comments please feel free to leave them in the comments below thank you and I will see you in the next video